Hello astronomers, Jeff Matthews here again, and uh, here we're going to be taking a look at how we can use light to tell what things are made of. So I already have on here my handy dandy diffraction grating, so you might, uh, this might be familiar from some previous lessons, the little piece of plastic that splits light up into its many different uh, wavelengths, so into its, splits the light up into its separate colors. This is a power supply, and here there's a glass tube that is filled with nothing but the element neon. So we've got a little bit of light coming in from the outdoors here, but hopefully this will be bright enough that uh, you don't notice that. All right, there we go. So, so here I've got my neon lamp. Uh, let me pop off the diffraction grating real quick. So just by eye, it looks like this bright uh, red line. And with our diffraction grating, we can actually split that light up into its many separate colors. There's a little, there's like one very specific wavelength of blue that it's glowing, then a few different wavelengths of like green are showing up, and then just tons and tons and tons of separate wavelengths of yellow and orange and red. Now, um, each one of these wavelengths is, is sort of is separate from the others. It's discrete from the others. We call this actually a discrete emission spectrum. So discrete meaning each wavelength is separate from the next. Emission being that we've got a gas that is making this light. It is emitting light. Now here I have a, a different lamp, a glass tube, filled with the element mercury. And I'm going to stack it here because this will make a useful comparison. Okay, So we can see how our diffraction grating, that's the little piece of plastic up here that's splitting the light up into its separate colors. It's putting each particular color at a particular location, right? So notice how the, we've got the green from the neon here, and we've got the green from the mercury showing up, set aside just the same amount. And then when we look at the mercury, right, we're getting like this violet, and the neon's not making any of that. In fact, the mercury is producing only a few specific wavelengths of light compared to the neon, where there's like a hundred different, very specific colors that are being produced here. Uh, you know, you need that, that super mega box of, of crayons in order to uh, recreate what you're seeing here. So we can clearly tell apart, you know, not just by color, right? By eye, the mercury looks this, this bluish white, the neon looks this bright red. So we can tell them apart by eye, but even more importantly, we can tell them apart by the very specific wavelengths that they're glowing. Anywhere in the universe that mercury is getting heated up, it is going to glow this set of colors. Anywhere in the universe that neon atoms are receiving energy, they are then going to glow this particular set of colors. Now here I have another set of elements. I have the two, I have glass tubes with the most common elements in the universe. Any guesses? So we've got the second most common, helium, and the most common, hydrogen. Nine out of every ten atoms in the universe is a hydrogen atom, and most of, almost all of the remaining one out of ten are helium. All those other atoms, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, the stuff that makes up us, much less than one percent of all the atoms in the universe. So let's take a look at their spectra so that we can see how to tell these elements apart when we are looking at stars, gas clouds, etc. Get my diffraction grating into place here. Ah, we're getting a little bit of light off of the actual little lamp that's right next to the camera, letting me know that the camera's on. So we're getting a little bit of back reflection off of that. Yes, that's that green that you're seeing across the top there. The, this rainbow across the bottom is actually off of the uh, grates on the garage door. First, let's take a look at helium. Okay. So, helium, uh, 
uh, it's really bright, and so so here on the, the, the camera, it's kind of saturating a little bit. Um, so, so, so here on the camera, it's, it's a little hard to tell its color, but it looks almost peachish uh, by eye. But then we can see, thanks to the diffraction grating, we can see that it gets split out into this, you know, this violetish, this bluish, this blue-green, uh, this uh, orangish color, and there's a particular wavelength of red that's showing up over here. We can compare that to our pal hydrogen. So let me go ahead and stack these so that we can more easily directly compare them. Right? So the hydrogen has this purplish color by eye, and we can see that it, it's glowing this, this particular shade of blue, this uh, cyanish color, and this particular shade of red. This is the most popular color combination in the universe. So if you are interested in astro fashion, here are your colors.